Team USA back on the pitch tomorrow, facing off against Belgium. Here with his World Cup predictions and everything you need to know before tomorrow's game is Mo Edu, a World Cup veteran. Mo, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me. So you represented Team USA in the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. You've also played for Team USA's coach, Jurgen Klinsmann. What's he saying right now? What's he saying to prepare these players for the game tomorrow? I think he's telling them, you know what, we've, we've accomplished phase one, I guess you could say, which was getting out of that group. Again, nobody, nobody gave them a chance to get out of that group, and they did that. So he's telling them, listen, you know, you got to take the confidence from that, use it as motivation, take the momentum from, those, from the group games, and now we got to focus again. Um, the knockout stages, again, is like a, it's like a tournament in its own. So now they had to just focus all their attention going into that game and just make sure they're up for that task again. And of course, Team USA has been down a striker since the first game. Or since the first game, Josie, there are lots of rumors that he might be back for this next game. How important could that be to Team USA? It could be important. You know, Josie's a big player for the team. Um, his injury was not a timely one. And but you know what? In saying that, the team reacted very well. Um, other guys have stepped up. Clint Dempsey stepped up and scored some good, some very good goals for the team. And if Josie is able to play, it'll be great. It'll be a boost for the team in morale and, and, and as well as the quality he brings to the team. But if he's not, um, I think the team has enough quality that they'll be able to respond and still get a win. I think, as you pointed out, there have been some surprises. Team USA surviving at all was a big surprise. Costa Rica, they just had a big win over very Greece. <laughs> Their run has been impressive. Who do you look at right now as kind of the dark horse teams that could really present a challenge that we really didn't see coming? USA. I mean, again, no one gave them a chance to get out of that group. And to do that, I think it's turned a lot of heads. And now the knockout stages, anything is possible, especially in soccer. You know, there's been a lot of upsets already in this tournament. And I'm fully confident that this group has what it takes to go, to go the distance. But, you know, again, it starts with the game against Belgium. And then you go from there. All right. So I think you're already hinting at this. But where are you placing your bet on tomorrow's game? Is Team USA <laughs> going to be able to eke it out? I mean, I don't really know. Of course. I think my, my opinion is, you know, I'm confident that this team can get the job done. Belgium's a strong side. Um, I have a lot of respect for them and the players they have on that team. But I think when the final whistle's blown, we'll be celebrating here. All right. Let's talk about the whole thing. Do you think Team USA can win the whole thing? Again, it's a tournament. And it's... I think everyone is kind of leading towards Brazil as being the favorite. They're the home country. They're obviously a strong side as well. But in a tournament, it's going. you got to just take it game by game. Right now, I think the U.S. just needs to focus on Belgium. You can't look past them because they're a strong team. But when you, if they get past Belgium, you know, hopefully they do, then again, you're in, right after that, you're in the quarterfinal. And then things just progress from there. Easy, not easily, but they just progress from there. But it's about just being focused and taking it one game at a time. All right, so what are you going to be doing tomorrow at 4 p.m.? What is the best way to watch this game? <laughs> the best way? Everyone's different. You know, some people are hiding in corners and, you know, uh, me, I'm going to be out um, in a sports bar in Philly, taking it in with some of the American Outlaw fans and, you know, showing my, my pride and my passion and, like I said, hopefully celebrating a U.S. victory. All right, fingers crossed. Mo, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.